Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss a video from Radio One. Rani Mukherjee, I'm so happy to see you. I I'm can't so tell you how happy I am. happy to see you. And I just have to tell you that, you know, that tattoo song, I just can't take my eyes off you. You're looking <laughs> stunning. Oh, With all due respect to, to Sharvari and to Sid and to Saif, you are looking a million bucks. Thank I mean, you. how do you do that? How do you turn? I think you stay happy. I think that's the most important thing. Because I think happy and also I think um, it's so important to actually, um, you know, not um, disappoint your fans. I think that's that first and foremost thing that it's in my head all the time. And uh, when I knew that in Bunty or Bubbly, I have to uh, dance and I have to wear a particular kind of costume. I worked really hard <laughs> because at my age, um, it takes a lot to kind of be in shape because you're not in your 20s anymore and where your metabolism is not really helping you at all. So you have to work that doubly, you have to work doubly hard to actually reach a certain uh, way. So I'm just happy that it's happened and people have liked me and uh, people are not complaining why my skirt is so short. I think they're just very happy that it is. <laughs> no, but seriously, I mean, you ask my wife yeah. and she'll say that you are the exemplary working woman because I mean, look at the way you're looking, mm. you know, you're a poster girl for being a mother, you know, anybody would turn around and say, is she Adira's mom? Of course she's Adira's mom. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it really spurs on women to say that we can go out and do stuff. So please yes. keep doing what you're doing. Thank you. Because you know, it's just an example for the rest. I mean, cinema is about entertainment, but it's also Absolutely. about finding inspirational figures. Right? Yes, also finding inspirational figures. And also I think uh, what is most important is that I keep saying this even today. I think, I think as a husband, you'll understand what I'm saying. It's very important for somebody like me or any girl, I, I would say, who is uh, somebody who is a homebody, like I am a homebody, I love being at home. I think my husband really pushed me to be able to look the way I'm looking because he's my constant factor who keeps reminding me of who I am. You know, if I ever forget that, he keeps reminding me. And I think that's very important. I think all the husbands should be behind their wives and they should honestly inspire their wives to go out there and work their ass off to look the way they look. That's a secure man, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, the, the franchise itself, yeah. it has never left you. No. I mean, it's almost as though, yeah. you know, the curtain rolled on that one and this one started. Absolutely. I can't imagine anybody being uh, bubbly, anybody <laughs> being with me. But you know, times have changed. Right. Uh, and you know, there, there is a certain language of cinema also that has changed. Yeah. Do you have to be conscious of that at all or is it just, I'm going to do my thing you and know, it's timeless? You know, actually the thing is that whenever, if you've seen my f filmography or the films that I've done, I think I've always tried to portray a strong Indian women through all my characters or all my roles. So whether be it Raja Kyagi Bharat where I played Mala, to I would say Tina in Kuch Kuch Hota Hai, to you know, um, any role like you pick up by Sadia, uh, Samia Siddiqui, Michelle McNally, um, Meera Gethi from No One Kill Jessica, or Mardani or Hitchki, I like to portray Indian women of that particular time. So with each decade, with each passing year, you see a shift, you know, in the way people are, in the way people are progressing, empowering themselves. And I think with each of my roles, I've always done that. When I did a Hamtum, I think everybody was pretty shocked with what my character does at the end of the film. She actually actually tells Seif's character that just because we've slept doesn't mean we need to get married, you know. So at every point, given point, I've always tried to um, make people understand that today in India, women are like this, you know, and that is very, very important. With, uh, I would say since we're doing Bunty Bubbly 2 interview, I would say that my character of Vimi Trivedi, when you left her in the first part, she was this, um, um, you know, wannabe model, wanted to be Miss India, you know, very confident. In spite of being five foot nothing, she actually believed that she could pass off as a model, you know. And the, um, uh, like that fiery side that she had in her, the spirit, you know, the masti and all that. What I've tried to retain in Bunty Bubbly 2 is also that same girl who has progressed in life, who's now a mother of a 10 year old, you know. But she hasn't let fashion. She believes that she's the fashionista of Fursad Ganj. You know, she's this, you know, this confident chick in Fursad Ganj who wears these loud clothes 
and believes that oh my god this is the trend <laughs> she believes that she is a trend setter and i think those are the things that i feel uh, make her real you know her like insecurities her uh, fact that she's grown older and she's not trying to take help of her clothes her fashion you know putting false eyelashes putting like you know glitter on her nails blow drying her hair she's trying to be this tip top person even in the zone where she is now a typical middle class housewife but she's not leaving that um side of hers which is that aspiring model that aspiring fashionista and i think that makes her truly truly special you know she's not somebody who succumb to you know boredom and succumb to a life ki okay my husband's going every day to cut the ticket in the uh, train station or in the railway station so she'll also become this boring mother no when she's making eggs she has rollers in her hair you know she's that kind of a chick and i love her so i want um, to basically bring and put forward characters which i think people can relate with at the same time there is some inspirational quality in her that will make people also understand that yeah why can't we be like her you, you know so that's something that i've always tried to do with all my characters you know you take a superb shankar <clears throat> san loy soundtrack and you put you know people like you but you need a choreographer to elevate it to the next level and right. i like what when webby and you get together you yes. know it's almost as though uh, she understands where you're coming Absolutely. from you do and you don't have to bust some serious breakdown moves because <laughs> you've got natural rhythm in your body right. you know i don't know if right. you ever partied because you started working at such a young age i don't know if yeah. you went to a disco party <laughs> no, but didn't. when the music comes on instinctively yeah. i see rani's rhythm you know yeah. you obviously had a lot of fun when when we were choreographing when we were choreographing me because more than just being my choreographer she's literally like my soulmate you know she's like my best friend or uh, not like my friend she is my best friend but uh, she's somebody who kind of understands me inside out you know if there would be one person who would know me apart from my husband it's webavi you know and uh, she's somebody who understands who's also seen my body of work i think she has tremendous respect for me as an artist when we are on set then we cease to become best friends because then she sees me as an artist and uh, i i absolutely adore her for the way she is in the sense if you see her dance if you see her move she's very graceful and and i love the way she brings her aesthetics onto every song you know whichever song she choreographs i think there's a certain aesthetic to her you know choreography it is never demeaning to any woman it is never demeaning to um uh, like like there are never any moves which you might find uh, oh my god i can't see that you know and she specially takes care of girls you know on her sets like the way to shoot a girl you know even if she's done songs where people have worn the skimpiest of clothes but there's a way that she'll shoot her you know so there's a lot of comfort when webby is around on set because i know that webby will make sure that nothing uh, seems strange on camera so i think that uh, comfort i have with her that's why i could i was able to wear such a short skirt and prance around and tattoo alie <laughs> and you know everybody knows saif has a sense of humor yeah but i'll tell you as you know as a journalist having interviewed him for so many years he started off being a very western sense of humor i think then yeah. he realized his spate of vishal bhardwaj's film yeah where he incorporated some desi humor yeah and now it's a it's a unique combination of a stiff upper lip british humor and some desi humor and you get that yeah and you can see that that he yeah. has a ball working with you you feel Absolutely. that you get a sense of humor because a lot Absolutely. of actors just don't yeah. he might say a couple of things and it might just fly off you know with yeah. you you get but it but i think with saif and me our relationship now has been we've done so many films together and the fact that i think after 13 years when we met on set i think we both realized how much we missed each other you know in the sense that you know when you start working there is a kind of chemistry that we already have there is a sense of comfort where he um you know respects my craft i respect his craft and there's a certain amount of love that we have for each other's work you know so we work as a team and especially in bunty babli 2 we were meant to be a team against these millennials so we actually worked like a team in the film you know so it was that was a lot of fun you know that we were trying to better e- each other like you know he was trying to better me i was trying to better him and i think that kind of relationship is very rare in films because when you are actors you tend to compete with one another so i think this factor with me and saif i think is just amazing where we actually um, kind of help each other better our craft you know i remember even in this very office uh, even before anybody had seen tahir you had told me yeah. oh, this boy is going to make it yeah 
and he's awesome and i remember telling him about it and he just yeah rani really said that about me <laughs> i said yes dude you know and you have a gut instinct for talent obviously yeah. Yeah. said we know we're familiar with his work yeah. i want you to to tell me what you feel instinctively about sharmari she's a big star she's going to be a big star i think with this film you'll see that she's very talented and uh, there is a kind of um, charm that you want to see her on screen you know because actors with their talent there has to be that that x factor you know we will want to see the star on screen and i think sharvari has that and i think she's going to um, make a wonderful career out of you know her life i think she's going to go i'm lambi race ki godi hai i'm waiting to see scenes in which pankaj tripathi and you guys <laughs> are in there's something unique about a guy who's very poker faced when yeah. he acts yeah. when he delivers lines I don't know if it's so. I had two poker-faced actors, which is Saif and this, and I was this animated cartoon in the middle of that because I am like animation into fifty thousand. Because as bubbly when I become Vimmi, I don't know where those expressions come from. They just start coming from all corners of the world. So I am this complete Tom and Jerry cartoon, which you will see when you see the film. I keep discovering new facets about you. You are a speed demon. <laughs> Riding that ATV, I saw a BTS shot and I said, "Whoa!" I mean, obviously, it's safe because it was yeah. on a beach and yeah. ATV is normally yeah. you enclose the area yeah. and things like that. But does it give you thrills? I loved it. I love riding, uh, and I love I love driving anything with a with a vehicle. And ATV is fun because it's it's not a car, it's not a bike, it's not anything. It's just ATV. <laughs> it falls in the middle somewhere. because you just ride you just go and it's like it's like amazing and it makes you feel really like in control because it's, you know you have to sit with that posture and i was doing a comic scene of course so i had a blast because if you see my expressions you know this I've video is going to go viral the the you with atv <laughs> and somebody should cut uh, sharuk and gauri in an atv when well, sharuk is really scared <laughs> and gauri is going i think they were in dubai yeah. that video has gone viral you know i think you have you know a, a thrill for speed or you don't i mean some people have it some people i don't. have a thrill for speed but when my daughters around then all my fears then uh, are like heightened uh, to another level then i'm like are 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 dheere dheere chalao are are aise karo like with her then i become complete mama when i'm without her then i'm like a dead devil but did people allow you to do the stunt i'm sure varun must have come turned around and said yeah they to actually it. told me not to but then i don't listen to anybody which is uh, very sad <laughs> and varun was really stressed which i don't blame him because we had to shoot many scenes even after that day so he was like meri shooting ka kya hoga if anything happens um, but uh, luckily it was just a minor hurt it could have been serious but i think the gods were with me the atv gods were with me the angels atv <laughs> <laughs> that is the statement of the interview the atv gods uh, uh, the styling is is superb yeah. you know when i see you as vimmi and then yeah. i suddenly see you glammed up and yeah. things like that are, are these stylists that you regularly work with no 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 it's uh, sabesachi who has styled oh me oh my god yeah so sabesachi has done my vimmi look and my other glamorous look is done by my daughter adira what are you saying yes and she has credits in the film uh, i don't think i'll have to check <laughs> his father is trying to protect her and not let anybody know she is the stylist so so it so happened that i wanted sabya to you know style me as vimmi because i knew that the first one was quite iconic you know the audiences made the clothes quite iconic and i said that if bunty bubbly 2 has to happen i need to have a designer who will give his touch at the same time he can make a simple outfit also iconic and there was nobody else in my mind but sabya and the way sabya kind of styled vimmi's look i think it's amazing because he got the tackiness and in the film i am a sabya sachi fan like i'm i'm trying to redo his clothes so he had to work backwards and think that okay if it was my costume and if somebody had copied it what would it be like so he's actually designed the clothes thinking that he's a he's copying himself so <laughs> so that's how he styled me in uh, the vimmi's look and the other clothes the other glamorous look was um collectively done as a, a family vacation by me and adira so i used to go to the shop and then she used to bring me the glasses she used to bring me something okay mama this bag will go with this and these shoes will go with this and she was around 4 at that time so she's i'm um, i've uh, 
given birth to quite a fashionista in that sense. Well, you guys are such a secular family. I mean, I know you celebrate Durga Puja. Diwali is just gone by. Do you do a Christmas tree? Of I'm course. Yeah, do I do a Christmas week. tree. I celebrate Eid. I celebrate all the festivals. Because so is, I love... Is there somebody who dresses festivals. up at Santa and comes for the Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. My husband. <laughs> So Christmas celebrations are there. Set up yes, the tree. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Because I am too excited to dress up the Christmas tree. I love it because I've got all these little little charms that I've bought from around the world, and my Christmas tree, like ten days before Christmas, is ready. Because December for me is a celebratory month because nine December is Adira's birthday, and then twenty fifth is Christmas. So from December the party starts. Awesome. Last question, what is it that you want to tell all fans of the franchise, Bunty or Bubbly? Okay. What can they look forward so, to? So, uh, I would like to tell all the fans of the franchise that please come and see this film as Bunty Bubbly 2 because it's a new film. Uh, yes, it does have your characters of Vimmi and Rakesh, but it's also Vimmi and Rakesh after 10 years. And you'll also see a clash between the millennials and us because there is a huge um, I, I would say a huge uh, difference between us because of the technology. So I would say that the millennials are really technology savvy and we are uh, as good old as school. Uh, <laughs> old school and dinosaurs in that sense. Uh, but I think the fun of this film is that it has a humor which is very clean. It, uh, it has a fun element, it has, um, it has masti, it has, it has glamour, it has all the trappings of water a quintessential Bollywood film is supposed to have. So it has the dancers, it has the songs, it has the uh, grandness of an outdoor location, it has the clothes, it has the makeup, it has uh, performances and it has the madness of Bunty Bubbly 2 in Bunty Bubbly 2 zone. So I think it's a film for all ages. It's a film that you can take with your family and watch. Your kids can watch it, your parents can watch it, your friends can watch it everybody will relate with somebody in this film. Like you will know a person like that in your life and you'll just have a blast. And I think that's what we needed after two years of COVID. Uh, and I think there couldn't have been a better film than this. Like if I had to like uh, promote say Mardani at this point, it would have been difficult because you know, people want to see something fun today, you know. So I'm glad I'm not promoting Mardani 3 and I'm promoting Bunty Bubbly 2 because I can truly, truly tell the audiences that they can go buy a ticket and have fun. And it has Rani Mukherjee, most important. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank Can't you. wait to see Thank it. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, then subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss out on more content.